We're on. Welcome to the comic book, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was going to make you laugh, Steve. I was just <laughs> dancing around to the intro when we were... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, welcome. Uh, so, Steve, how are you going? How's things been? It's It's been good. It's uh, we're, we're still in the corona universe, but uh, we're, uh, <laughs> we're, we're doing well. Yeah? Oh, that's awesome, man. That's cool. How's family? Uh, family's good. My son's home from from uni, um, which means that his bedroom is no longer vacated, and and that's where he stays. Um, <laughs> we we only see him when he comes down for the toilet and to grab his food and go back upstairs. Uh, but <laughs> that's <about> okay. <laughs> but, uh, and and my little boy is finishing school on on Monday when he was supposed to finish Man. on Friday. But that's, that's all awesome. to do with camp. Oh, man, that's cool, man. That's awesome. And Hayden, how are you going, man? And how's things been? I'm doing pretty good. Like Steve said, we're still in the Corona universe. Like, it, it sounds a lot cooler like that. Like, it sounds like the Marvel universe, the Corona universe, where everyone wears a mask. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> and no one can handshake. But it's going pretty good. Uh, Just the end of the week, you know what I mean? I, uh, I'm finally, like, fully... Like, not fully. I'm getting more recovered from my wisdom teeth, finally. So it's taken mm. three weeks just for them to start actually healing. But other oh, wow. than that, like, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How about you, Phil? Yeah, just being busy with work. Um, yeah, all good. Spending more time with family. My son's growing up really fast. So, yeah, going really good, man. So it's good that we're back today. So let's uh, crack a lacken. Um, So we wanted to finish off this, talking about the Star Wars saga episode one, two, and three. So you got the Phantom Menace. You got. The- uh, we lost you again, Phil. <laughs> we lost you. We can't hear you. No. Nope. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Internet trouble, isn't it awesome? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's funny when he comes through, he's crystal clear. It's not like it's pixelated. Maybe it's the chat room or something. I'm going to sign out myself. Okay. Just to be sure. I mean, no, sign out of the uh, on my Internet browser because I was trying to get in the chat room. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I feel like if this didn't happen, this just wouldn't be us, us, you know? This just wouldn't be our podcast. What was that? This just... What happened? Oh, I don't know. It just, like, blew up really bad, you know? (laughs) You you just sort of went from speaking at this level to... (laughs) Hey! All right. So when something goes wrong, what's a normal method of communication? Oh, here he goes usually messenger right okay yeah sorry guys that, that's how we just had, um, right? I, i'm so sorry yeah just just ha- my mum keeps calling me and it just keeps cutting off and i had to message her oh. Not now, mom. <laughs> <laughs> i dude i i always have my ipad in this mode because and do not disturb because my brother my my brother has autism he blows me up. He's done it so many times, and I have to, like, block everybody. <laughs> yeah. It happens. We're good, man. So, uh, I guess we're still rolling. So, however you feel comfortable, you guys, picking it up, doing the funny uh, thing. I, I, I know where I'm, I yeah. know where All I'm right. going. All right. All right. Yeah. Sounds right. good. We'll just keep Is rolling. Is my audio good, Larry? Yeah, everything's great now, guys. You're like good. I didn't blow up? All okay. Right. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Three, two, one. Uh, okay. <laughs> Scene. Right, well, Scene. Now let's crack a like. <laughs> no, so um, we want to talk about the Star Wars saga. So talking about the Phantom Menace, um, the Clone Wars, and the Revenge of the Sith. So we want to go through each one asking um, just general questions with what we've done and go from there. So um, 
let's kick it off with you, Steve. So The Phantom Menace, um, the, this film has got a lot of, um, you know, hate on it, like from a lot of the critics and fans. A lot of people just weren't too um, happy with it. But it would be great to get your opinion on it. So um, what was your favourite moment in the film and, like, who was your favourite character? Oh, my, my favourite character has got to be Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Favorite, yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> my favorite character is Darth Maul. Yes. Uh, he's he's a phenomenal character. Um he's got he's got that imposing look about him. He's he's mean. He's menacing, uh, and and he just wasn't in in the film uh, anywhere near as as long as he should have been. Um, and uh, I'm I'm just waiting to to see them bring him uh, bring him back with uh, with the spider legs and and what have you, because I think that's an, an amazing story. Um, mm. It's uh, it, it's just fantastic. But uh, I'm I'm not uh, a big hater of Jar Jar Binks. I I have a, a seven foot Jar Jar Binks in my shop. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, which people miss. They come into my shop and they walk around, and there's a seven foot tall Jar Jar Binks in the middle of my shop. <laughs> Every go, time you see it, sees it. People just I don't, don't see it, and then they spin around and go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Quite weird. So. Man, that's awesome. Um, so I wanted to ask, um, in, the film got so much hate from the fans and the critics. And um, how did you feel about the um, reading and hearing about the bad reviews of The Phantom Menace? Like, I mean, what's your take on that? Um, well, at, at first, everybody was really excited about it. And, uh, and then it got all this hate. And to be honest with you, I, I, I just think that um, there were a lot of people expecting what they'd had before and uh, it, it wasn't. And George Lucas tried to put a bit of humor in there with, with Jar Jar Binks and that, that completely backfired. Um, and I just didn't see the, the necessity for it, but, but mm. purists are they're always slagging the next Star Wars uh, film off. The the purists will always go back to, but it's not as good as the first one. Well, nothing's going to be the, as good as the first one because the first yeah. one was the first one. And, yeah. and we hadn't had anything to compare it to. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I'm... I, I, I just don't get this um mass hit it's it's um it's it's just a wrong thing for me yeah no i totally agree i think you know every film's um look you can get a bad film or you can get a good film but i think you know in in this term you know it, it's a movie every movie is meant to be different in their unique way and I yeah. think um, that's what Lucas wanted to bring. And, you know, his favourite character was Jar Jar Binks because he wanted to find a character where he didn't have a lot of friends, he was abandoned, and, yeah. you know, someone gave him that hope saying, hey, you're with us now. And I think that the moral of that story was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. So now off to Hayden, man. Um, so The Phantom Menace, what was your favourite moment in the film, your favourite character? Ooh. Jar Jar Binks. Favorite Jar moment. Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> Risa Annie. No, I don't know. I was, <laughs> I would say, uh, my favorite moment obviously would have to be the duel of the fates, which is when Qui Gon, Obi Wan, and um, what's his face, Darth Maul, all fight, and they have that yeah. epic lightsaber fight. I think it's like we kind of talked about this on our last Star Wars episode, but where like the it, I. The one thing you have to give the prequels, even if you don't like the prequels, is that you get to see so much more awesome 
lightsaber fights than you did in the original. Yeah. And so I feel like, especially since I was the first one to kick off the prequels, I feel like that's the coolest like that was the coolest moment in the film to be honest i don't find a whole lot of cool moments in that film but i think that one is a genuinely awesome one and when like the they're like the i don't know what they're called like the shields that are going up as they're like fighting and stuff and then you get to see like darth maul staring back at him like it's so cool looking because he's like oh he's ray park is the coolest dude ever but um i would say my favorite character i would say it's actually a tie between uh obviously darth maul but i would say it's tied with qui-gon because I, I like Qui-Gon as, like, the... You get to see the more, like... It's the first time you get to see, like, the Jedi prime. Like, Jedi in his prime as a head Jedi. It's not just, like, an old Obi-Wan, but, like, an actual Jedi master that you get to see and stuff. So, I think I would have to say... It's probably a tie. But, I mean, Darth Maul's got... I mean, he's awesome. So, it's hard, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. I totally get it, man. I'm not... Yeah, no, that's actually pretty cool. So, um, you know, what do you get from hearing about the bad reviews on the film? Like, um, you know, I was backtracking, um, having a think about it. You know, so there was a lot of hurtful comments on the internet, like on these fan bases about the film. Like, how do you feel about, you know, the critics and the fans, like, bashing this film? So, I think, okay, here's my thing. I think it's totally okay to not like a movie. You can totally not like a movie and you can be disappointed in a movie, right? Like I, I, because I grew up younger, like I, I'm of the generation that I grew up with the prequels before I watched the originals. So I have like a weird, like a different take on it. I don't think it's a great movie at all. And I understand why people hate it. And I think you're allowed to strongly dislike a movie. The problem is, is the, they came at everybody personally. And like the yeah. kid who played Anakin got like bullied so bad. And that he quit acting because of it. And then, yeah. so going back to Jar Jar Binks, the guy from Jar Jar, there's actually a video that he made on YouTube where he was talking about he almost tried to kill himself after that movie came out because so many people bullied him and people found out, like, who he was. And that's just, like, not cool no matter what. Like, even yeah. if it's a terrible movie, it was, I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's great. But even if it was the worst movie ever made, that's never okay. You know? <laughs> you know, and it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, dude, what? So when it comes to that, I think that stuff is just dumb, you know? Like, and if you're going to go after the person personally, then that's just, you're not, you're not like reviewing art. You're just being a jerk. <laughs> that's just yeah. how it goes. Yeah. You know, yeah, I think he really hit it out of the ballpark there. Like, you know, I think, um, Star Wars fans are way too critical. And um, I just the way um, how things like and like how things reacted in terms with films, the fans would personally attack an act like an actor. And, you know, I, I remember that um, that woman who played Rose in The Last Jedi, she signed on because she loves Star Wars. And, you know, she got death threat. She um had everything you name it like racial slurs she had to delete every photo of social media and um i was really happy after this um when i saw mark hamill uploaded a picture of him having an arm around her and you know with a silly face you know being mark hamill you know he goes what's not to love get a life you nerds like it's Mm. it's actually pretty sad like i felt so sad for that actress like as much as you didn't really like that seen in the movie but you know that person is a person and you know i wonder how they're feeling now like you know do they you know do these actors get put off star wars like i felt sorry for that young boy who played anakin he had a whole life and a career before him and you know just a shame so i guess hope hopefully there are some people that will watch this video that can find encouragement um to go on into the future if they don't agree with the film they just leave it at that and yeah, you know, I, no attacking. I think that um, people have become so absorbed with uh, fantasy lifestyles and exactly and fantasy people now uh, that they they assume some ownership, and we don't we don't own these things, and we don't own the people. That are that are acting in them, and at the end of the day, they're just actors. They're yeah. exactly the same as you and me. They may get paid a lot more. They may do a lot more hours, 
they they yeah. may have a, 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 an amazing lifestyle, but at the end of the day, they're just people, and exactly people, people can make mistakes, and people can. I I always tell the 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 people in my co- congregation, I will let you down. Every human will let another human being down. The only person who won't let you down is Christ. And, exactly. And yeah. Amen. We 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 need to take that as a basis and 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 stop all the hatred because all this hatred is is driving the world to destruction. Sorry. Exactly. That got really heavy then. No, it's <laughs> good. I, I think- no, amen, brother. I think um, we got to call out these um, trolls on the internet and hopefully they can uh, see the light and the light through Christ. And I, so getting back on track, so um, how I felt about the film, like um, I actually enjoyed it when I was young. Like I know there were some parts that just dragged out. I think that was the only thing I didn't really like about the film. Like I know the race scene just seemed to drag out way too much, but it was enjoyable. Um, my favorite moment in the film was definitely Qui-Gon, um, Obi-Wan and Darth Maul battling. That was just epic. Yeah. I think the way that was, that scene was done, it was terrific. Um, my favorite character, Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, I love Qui-Gon. Um, Liam Neeson. Oh, I love yes. Liam Neeson. The guy has played so many powerful characters. Come on, he's been a Jedi. He's been um, a, a Greek god Zeus. He's been a guy that goes crazy to try and get his daughter back to, yeah. you know, a guy that beats up wolves. Come on, it's Liam Neeson. Uh, <laughs> um, how I feel about the reviews, I think... Um, Steve, I think you answered my question for me. So um, you get a point for that. <laughs> it was a great answer. <laughs> now, um, going to the Clone Wars, um, exciting film. Um, now, um, Steve, um, what was your favorite moment um, in the, the film? And who was your favorite character? Um. My favorite moment was was the moment when um, oh I can't remember isn't it Django Fett walks out and sees the whole army um, where where he's he's just walking out and and yeah um, he he's just got this massive army in front of him and um, I I really enjoyed him as, as a character um, and and. As as an actor, I I think he's he's a a really he takes some really really good uh, tough parts, but he's he's a really nice guy. Um, I've met him as well. Um, oh dang! But, <laughs> but um, I, I I really enjoyed uh, that part. Of <laughs> Stop dropping your cap! Is there something wrong? With you? <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I I'll go with that. Man, that's actually pretty cool. Like, man, you met so many amazing actors, and oh well, man, it's, I'm, it's part I'm of my jealous. job. <laughs> <laughs> it is what so, I do. Well, um, can I become your apprentice? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's that's, a, that's actually <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, um, who would be your favorite character in the film? I think Django. Yeah. Django, man, that's yeah. actually pretty cool. I, I, are you saying that because you know him, or no? I'm joking. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know him. I've, I've just met him. He's, he's not. He's not one of the the actors that I know well. He's, uh, he's, just a person that I've met. No, nah, man, that's actually pretty cool. And man, you. I'm quite surprised every time we come on, you have the most amazing answers, Steve. That's actually yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> All right, um, Hayden. So the Clone Wars. Uh, what would be your favorite moment in the film? Um. Ooh, I don't know if I have a favorite moment. I think is okay. Is that the one where does Yoda fight Count Dooku? Is that does that happen? 
Yeah, it's that yeah. one. That, that's my yeah. favorite moment. Is when is when Yoda takes on Count Dooku, and you get to see this short little guy. Because I'm like, I'm a short guy, so I remember when I was a uh, little seeing this little short green guy just do like flips and like with his little lightsaber just taking on you know like the christopher lee it's like uh yeah i'd have to say that moment was pretty epic like it was like i mean watching him do like all these like like front flips and back flips and he's like like twirling around and doing all this like weird stuff i was like oh this dude is this dude's the man and then pick up and have a lot of the room with this cane <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. Like, ah, don't worry, guys, my back. Yeah. Where, 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 where was that? No, I'm joking. Th- thanks, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who is your favorite character in the film? Ooh, I would have to agree with Steve with Django Fett. I remember like seeing Django Fett, and I had like, dude, I thought he was the coolest looking guy ever. Because I'm pretty sure I saw that before I watched <coughs> any of the originals, so I didn't know who Boba Fett was yet. But I remember I thought his helmet was so cool. I liked his guns. I know the Halloween store had his guns you could buy and like the like little suit and stuff. I never got them because I my mom didn't ever buy them. But like because she's like she knew they would just get broken and thrown away. But like there was like so cool and stuff. And he's like, oh, and I remember I had a toy set of the action figures and my Django Fett actually so all the action figures were normal, but Django Fett had a <laughs> he had a magnet head, so you could be Mace Window and decapitate him, and then his head would come back on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. He's my dude. Man, that's yeah. actually pretty cool. Yeah. It's good that we can look back when we were young from these films and the action figures we keep. Man, that's actually pretty cool. Um, For me, my favorite moment in the film was definitely uh, Yoda, that battle. Um, Man, Christopher Lee was such a great character in that film. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that I think that was actually pretty epic how he just saved Anakin and... Obi Wan by catching um, the concrete slabs and um, just making sure um, they were okay. That was actually pretty cool to see the power of Yoda. Like such a small guy, he could, um, you know, just show how powerful he was. That was pretty epic. Um, yeah, I would say um, my character, favorite character in the film. I don't know. I, I enjoyed Christopher Lee um, playing such a great villain. Um, I'm a big fan of Christopher Lee. Uh, with his acting and yeah he would have to be mine um just it was pretty cool to see a guy like him take on a character in star wars so that was epic um now I've met him um, as well oh my gosh dude <laughs> the cup. You know, I mean, I've been inside the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, just saying, you know, I mean, it's cool and all that you get to know these guys, but, you know, you know. <laughs> that was really funny. Your, your your microphone blew out at exactly the right time then. It was like, <laughs> I've met Christopher Lee. And he... <laughs> the crowd just went, Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow well, um, it's okay i think that was the best moment in this video i think that was just well done um now um getting back on track the revenge of the sith that was an epic movie in my opinion um a great way to finish um that star wars sa- the saga with episode one two and three um so steve um what was your favorite part of that movie like what was your favorite moment um the bit where anakin gets his hand and his torso um zapped off and and he's is effectively left to die <laughs> well, wow man. um that's pretty dark, dark. um did, did <laughs> were, were you able to meet his uh, hands and torso you were were you able to meet his hands and torso? No, but I've 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 met Jake Lloyd as well. So, who was who was the little baby Anakin in the first one? Oh, nice. How's his hands and torso? Um, well, his, his his hands are okay. <laughs> I, uh, I've, I've, oh, I've is... stood in the urinal next to him having a chat. <laughs> 
Um, uh, yeah, okay. Um, anyway, that, <laughs> let's move on from the hands and torsos. But that's <laughs> awesome that you met him. Um, who is your favorite? Give him character? a hand, guys. <laughs> no, <laughs> not until he's washed up. Oh, I was actually holding my cup and I actually dropped it out of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Just tell him to shake it off. Um, <laughs> um, so, who is your favorite uh, character in the Revenge of the Sith? Um, probably. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. <clears throat> Samuel L. Jackson's character. Miss oh, Windu. Yeah. Miss Windu. Windu. Purple yeah. light. Um, yeah. I, w- I wanted to say this rumor um, going around in the Mandalorian, the Jedi they're looking for is actually Mace Windu. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. That's so epic. If that, that would actually be pretty epic. But um, yeah, man, uh, I think Mace Windu, Samuel L. Jackson, oh, that was actually pretty cool. Like um, before. Um, George Lucas sold Star Wars. Um, Samuel Jackson actually contacted George Lucas saying, before you sign it off, could you say that Mace Windu didn't die? He goes, done. <laughs> and then just signed that over and gave it to Disney. And um, I was like, that was actually pretty cool. So, um, man, that's pretty epic. But um, anyway, Hayden, um, over to you, man. Revenge of the Sith. Um, what was your favourite moment in the film? And who was your favourite character? Uh, favourite moment? I would have to... I would somewhat agree with Steve. I like the whole scene where they fight. I wouldn't necessarily say the part where he gets his limbs cut off are my favorite part, but I like I like the I like the whole fight that they have. I think the choreography was really cool for that, where they get to like they're like flipping and doing yeah. all that, you know, and like all the lava and stuff. And funny enough, when I was a kid, I had a action figure set of the of that too, mm-hmm. and it had this little puddle that you could throw Anakin in, and it would flip over and show a hand pulling out of the lava and stuff. But mm-hmm. uh. I really like that. I I also like. I will say like the hard thing with that. I love that movie. There's one thing that just kills me every time, and it's when Obi Wan and Anakin are fighting. They've been fighting. They're trying to kill each other basically, and in the middle of it, they decide to have like, a conversation. And Anakin says, "Well, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil." And like for some reason, like that. Every time I get to that, it makes me die of laughter just because it's like <laughs> it seems like it's the most random time to just talk like that when you're trying to kill someone. You know what I mean? But other than that, it's my favorite scene, and I would say my favorite character. General Grievous, I'd probably have to say. Oh, well, he's dude. yeah, yeah. He's That's cool. actually pretty cool. Um, sorry to interrupt, but when you explain the action figures you had of an like a toy pulling out of lava, that sounds so dark for a child. Wow, <laughs> dude, explains a lot. No, <laughs> hey, mom, look at look at this action figure. He's trying to get out of the lava. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's literally what it was. It was this little like hole, and you would like Anakin would fall through it. It would spin over, and then it would have lava with a hand coming out of it. <laughs> well, yeah. um, that, that's actually that, that that explains the fall of society. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that what you see me right now. That's what's happened to me. I'm joking. <laughs> Um, so, um, Revenge of the Sith for me, um, I think the film was a spectacular. I thought it was quite exciting. Um, my favorite moment of the film was, yeah, one and truly had to be, um, the the battle, the two of the battles. I loved Yoda fighting the Emperor. That was epic. Just, um, I loved it. That, um, actually was quite fun to actually see Yoda in action um with the emperor um i i just loved it just how yoda really just walked in and just pushed these two guys over it just showed uh, i'm not taking this you know it, it was epic but you know also the the battle with anakin and obi One and the way it was set up later on with um luke and leia being born and beta coming you know, out and just going crazy with anger. And I think the Emperor loved seeing his anger where he just ripped out and just yelled no. So it just showed his anger with his power coming out and the Emperor smiling because that's what he wanted. Yeah. And, you know, that was just an epic film. Um, 
great way to to end it. I just loved it. Um, so my favorite character in the film um, was was Anakin. I just loved how they shown him go to the dark side. It was um, an interesting way in such short time to show him go to the dark side. It was. I do understand um, how he moved because the Emperor is a master manipulator and it just shows yeah. how powerful the Emperor is with his manipulation because in the film how he goes to Anakin, there is power with the dark side and then Anakin was like, whoa, whoa, what? And then he had confusion in, in him and, you know, Mace Window even called it saying, I think you should stay here, Anakin. I sense a lot of confusion in you. Mace Windu did care about Anakin, so did all the other others. But I think that's what the Emperor wanted to do was just mess with Anakin's head to change him. And, you know, it, it just shows how powerful the mind of the Emperor Palpatine was, just how he can manipulate a young Jedi like that. That was just mm. um, crazy. I think it was well done, you know, for the audience to watch the film. But um, anyway, I want to mention, um, I know we before the video started, we heard all these amazing news about the Marvel Universe and Star Wars with Disney Plus with all these TV series. But I found it really cool after the amount of years they are creating a Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series with Ewan McGregor returning um, as Obi-Wan. And even better, Hayden Christensen coming back as Darth Vader. I I was just, you know, there, there it is. There's that photo. Look how beautiful that is. You know, yeah. I have to do that. Oh, the cup man. drop. Yeah. Cup drop, mate. Um, yeah, I, I was so excited when I heard the news because um, I know a fan um, on Facebook in the big fan groups on um, one of the comic book pages wrote down um, – and he had a photo with Hayden Christensen. He said um, a few months ago or something, he went to a convention and he said, um, would you ever do it? He goes, um, if they ask me, I'll do it in a second. And, you know, it was great to see the fans actually support that. And, you know, I think everyone's excited. I, You know, there's so much that people can do with that show and where it can be left off. But it's been confirmed it's five years later um after the revenge of the sith so i thought oh man that will actually be pretty cool um how they would do it so steve how do you feel about it hearing that news? i i think that that'll be an excellent show i i i tend to think that the shows are going to be uh far superior to the films at the moment because they they get um the time to explore uh the characters and explore what's going on in the world and um, it, it's, it's. I can't wait for it. It's uh, it's going to be really good. And we we've had uh, you and McGregor interviewed on on a couple of local uh, British TV's uh, shows, and and he seems really excited about it. He's uh, he's he's quite up for it. Oh, uh, it's it's going to be a spectacular. It's so so amazing that Hayden. How, how excited are you hearing about um, the news with um, all these shows coming out and? you know, Hayden Christensen coming back for Obi Wan. I'm I'm very excited. I think one thing that I always struggled with when I when you watch the prequels and the originals, it because the time gap is so large, it's hard to see them existing in the same universe. J just because like you're not used to seeing it. So I'm excited to see something that will tie it in and kind of help you see all of the like how it goes from the prequels to the seek like to the originals like in the way of like aesthetically you know and like world building i think that would be really cool i'm super excited about hayden christensen i don't know like what they're gonna do because he's gonna be in the darth vader suit so i'm not sure like unless they do that kind of like the empire strikes back where like you get to see him in his cool like pod where he's not where he takes his mask off and stuff like that'd be really cool but i'm really yeah. excited like i i th go this kind of ties back into uh revenge of the sith but like Phil, you're talking about the scene at the end when he's angry because he's Darth Vader now, and the Emperor's like, "Oh, it's like that moment's also really good because it shows like Anakin basically like he just he destroyed everything he could have had, and like he was this Jedi who, and now he's like three quarters of a machine. <laughs> now he has to wear this stupid. I mean, it's super dope, but like to have to wear that all the time, you have to wear this like mask and breathe like a scuba, <laughs> like a scuba diver all the time. You know, like it's just that moment where it's like, 
it's like real anguish. So I think that'd be really interesting to see his first five years of what that would be like. But I know mm. they have a comic book series about that, but I'm not sure if it's canon or not. So I don't know what they're gonna what they're gonna well, do. I, you know, I, one thing I found so interesting about Darth Vader, like you know, I know ages ago so, uh, at a convention, a fan asked George Lucas, like, would you ever want to explore doing something with Darth Vader? Like, you know, obviously he's dealing with burnt skin, you know, underneath the suit and, you know, he can't breathe. And Lucas said, yeah, well, that's what really angered him is that obviously he would be really itchy, or quite uncomfortable. And that's why he's so dark. Like, you know, he, you notice in the film, sometimes he just doesn't have the patience and sometimes he will just be like, um, like in the Empire Strikes Back, you know, I am, uh, the Emperor isn't as forgiving as I am. Like, you know, he's just straightforward. Obviously, he doesn't really have the time for certain people. And, you know, that's why he, he is struggling, like, deep down because, you know, the the past haunts him of what he's lost and, you know, the pain that he is going through. But um, I, that would actually be pretty cool just to see um, Darth Vader go through those struggles. But also... Um, I don't know, I, in the comic books, like, you know, um, he's not um, being, like, the Emperor, uh, from what I've read up, no, I don't know if they're going to be canon or or not, but I found it interesting that um, the Emperor kept trying to find a new Sith Lord. Or yeah. like he tried to, and uh, he tried to replace Vader, and whenever Vader sensed it, he would kill those people instantly. Um, I thought that would be an incredible way to show um, Vader's challenges with the Emperor because um, there would be battles where the Emperor would send him out and, you know, the Emperor would find Vader later saying, is that battle damage? He goes, yes, Master. Like, you know, there's been times where, from what I've read, the Emperor has tried to replace Vader many times, but Vader just yeah. would refuse. Man, I think that would actually be a really cool way. Um, anyway... Man, guys, this has been an awesome chat with you all. Steve, man, you, you, you know, it, it's, you have so many great answers and, you know, so entertaining, mate. Thank you so much for, you know, sharing all um, your thoughts with the shows and uh, the time you've had, um, you know, chatting to all these former actors in Star Wars, man. It's so, so amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I just like to mention um uh the death of dave prouse um, yeah, just uh just our condolences and commiserations out to his family mm -hmm. dave was uh became a friend of mine over over 20 years um and uh he was uh he was a lovely guy who used to phone me up and and just chat now and then and um he he was a, a genuinely sweet, sweet and, and lovely guy. He's, uh, yeah. he'd be sorely missed. Absolutely. Indeed. Absolutely. We'll be keeping um, his family in prayers. That would be awesome. But yeah, absolutely. That's sad to see such an icon go. But um, Hayden, thank you so much um, for for today man it's been entertaining and thank you for your answers and questions man it's always great to have you on man it's been awesome can't wait for next week um uh, thank you for watching the comic book guys um stay tuned for next week um you got the email um at the bottom there if you've got any questions or even want to reach out yeah we're always free to catch up and chat thank you for watching take care god bless